This is how beta we are. I just realized that I've been streaming the splash screen this whole time. I went to I went to switch to the splash screen. And it was already there. <laughs> oh. Well, that's well. See, that's kind of my my default when I start streaming before mm-hmm. the show actually begins. Mm-hmm. I just got the splash screen up and. Well, yeah, but usually I have us up and then I go to the splash screen and then come back out of it. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh well. Methodology. Uh, sure. Like, there's a method to this show. Hey, what does this do? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode beta 85, or something like that, uh, for Friday, the 1st of July, 2016. This is a show where two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and whatever else comes to mind, and uh, we, try, we try to do our best to fuck up a podcast. That's what we do. We're good at it. We're not going to change. I'm Amos, and that's Ken. How you doing, man? I am fantastic. It's fucking Friday, and this is this is great. We're already starting off amazingly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stellar, stellar performance <laughs> thus far for all actors involved. It's amazing. This is, the, the show, so far this show should go against uh, Game of Thrones for all the Academy Awards and shit next year. Oh, is that the God. Emmys or whichever uh, whichever one they're supposed to go against. Let me know. Uh, yeah. The the Grammys. No. The um, awards. The Tonys. No. The, Tonys. Uh, uh, hmm. Tonys? Um, how about the, uh, awards? the what? How about the diamond group award? The diamond group. Uh, see, we, we should already win some diamond group awards. That's all I'm saying. Just, you know, right. diamond group awards. <laughs> that's, that's, just, that's just it. The hashtag still in beta trophy. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but our dumbasses, we would stand up like, yep, oh, that's us. Yep. Yep. Goes to Jackie Hearn and yeah. Crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. That's us. We helped them. Yep. <laughs> Associate executive, sometimes part-time producers. That's what we are of that show. There we go. <laughs> yes, if we get executive producer credit, that would be great. Oh my gosh! So, um, yeah. so yeah, man, the podcast words were this week. <laughs> were <are> they? <laughs> Is that what that was? Uh, I had forgotten all about it, and then I just started, started, you know, popping up in my Twitter stream, a little thing here, a little thing there. And then I ignored it for a couple hours because we were busy with dinner or whatever and yeah. came back to it and was like, holy shit, what is going on? Oh, my God. Dude, my Twitter stream basically became chat room. <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> that was the most back and forth Twitter that I've done ever. ever. Yeah. It was good times. Um, essentially, if you're not part of a Diamond Club, now Diamond Group, this is what <laughs> happened. Uh, last year, uh, one of our one of our club members or group members, what, uh, whichever it is, a diamond uh, diamonder, uh, it was just good diamonder, a diamonder <laughs> by the uh, by the by the handle of T two T two, decided to uh, figure out how best to assist Diamond Club shows in getting votes for the podcast awards. And it was nothing automatic. You you go in, you had to click it, and it just basically sh- it was a little book- bookmarklet that showed you where the entries were. It just made it faster for searching. It's literally yeah, all it did. Basically, just highlighted yep. the ones that that are you know so, Diamond Club or Frog Pants affiliates. So last year, uh, Diamond Club smeared the floor with every other podcast out there. Just cleaned it up. Just completely took it. And um, of course, Brian Ibbett was was the one there. He was representing everyone. He was wearing a crazy ass hat. So they called it the the hatting the system again this year when they did it. And this year, it didn't quite turn out exactly as fun as last year. No, dude, I would argue that it was more fun. Um, because, well, Diamond Club and Frog Pants pretty much swept again. Uh, but then some controversy came out of it. Uh, someone accused us of cheating. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, the organizer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, somebody. Not, not just anybody, not just like some random schmo off the street, like, hey, there you go, the cheat. Nope. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I don't want to get too deep into it, but just basically to, to make a long story short, he, he um, made a big deal of it. Uh, Diamond Club basically fought back, and then he can, ends up coming back saying, okay, well, you guys still win. Yeah. But well, the rules are going to change next year because we don't like the way Well, they, they changed the rules last year so that we didn't have the same shows winning because they all won by such a huge margin. Yeah. You know, so th- there's no telling what's going to happen next year. It, if hey, there's hey, going ho- to uh, be, a- ho- ho- hold on a second. We have an issue. <sighs> oh, 
Uh, hashtag real life. Ugh. I have like three other people in this house and none of them could get her quiet. All right. <laughs> and and of course it was nothing. You, you know how three year olds, three year olds are. Like it was nothing important. Oh, no, 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 no. It was of utmost it was importance. Like, it was like, hey, hey, mom. Hey, mom, dad. Hey, hey. There's air in the room. <laughs> air exists. Air. Do you do this thing? Like, I can feel it. <laughs> like, That's fantastic. Oh, anyway, so um, so yeah, that, that was a uh, real life for a second there. So yeah, the podcast awards. Yeah. So uh, anyway, the the only thing, the only question out there is what what is it going to be next year? Is there going to be a podcast awards? If there is a podcast awards, is Diamond Club gonna, going to participate? Are we going to make our own? Are we going to move to some other organized podcasting awards? Um, you know, what's what what might happen? So I I don't necessarily think they were done all that well to begin with. Uh it was a nice show and it's a, it, and I, I don't know if it's because the format is new enough. I mean it's it's over 10 years old now. It's not like it's, you know, fresh out of the out of the, you know, out of the crib. Um <laughs> but it I don't I, it didn't have it, it seemed to me like last year that the only people paying attention to the podcast awards were podcasters. Yeah. And oh, then, yeah, easily. <laughs> and then this year, did they, I don't even, did they even do a live show? Was it even like a in, or was it just online or or I don't even know how the hell it was. Like people were watching it, but live over Skype with one one person. <laughs> like, uh, I, I guess a few people called in. I only watched maybe a grand total of five minutes of it, so I don't know everything that happened. But when I was watching, it was one dude. It was basically like me or you just sitting here reading and talking into his camera. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome podcast. Somebody yeah, should do that. Uh, Somebody should make that happen. <laughs> <clears throat> but anyway, um, he put out, uh, the, the, the organizer put out this year that he wanted $25,000 GoFundMe in order to make the pod- podcast words great and to continue them on for years to come. And I'm not sure how that went because I haven't bothered looking it up because I think that's absolutely ridiculous. $25,000 to redesign a website and keep it going for 10 years. That, that was the plan. Dude, and I said this a while back. T2T2, Sergeant Muffin, Tinvec, any one of those guys, especially the three of them together, mm-hmm. could redo this website in probably about six hours, eight hours maybe, and make this thing easily 10 times the website that he's already got and do it for free. Or well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say free. Well, 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 but I mean, they, they they could could <laughs> and, and might even. Uh, yeah. So that that comes to our our next suggestion, which is that what if we just did the the Diamond Group or Diamond Club or whatever we want to be called now that, that we have like received some small infamy. Um, what do we? Why don't we just make our own podcast awards? That's dude. I'm all for that. I am all for that. There is enough shows especially if you combine diamond club or diamond group sorry with frog pants or i get i guess you know i guess diamond group is diamond club plus frog pants i, I would just go diamond pants diamond right 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 uh, yeah um, I, st- I still like diamond pants <laughs> <laughs> makes me think of like early 80s van halen you know <laughs> right <laughs> as a, or, yeah as opposed to van hagar yeah uh, yeah <laughs> but yeah um no. But there's enough there's enough shows within our own community to have some sort of an award type thing. Mm-hmm. And not only that, I mean, there's plenty of room on DC TV to add more. And the notoriety that we got from this scandal has actually brought more people to Diamond Club. Yep. Podcasts that want to be part of Diamond Club. Exactly. And I think it's just gonna continue to grow. Yep. So I you know, by this time next year. <laughs> We could easily put together an award show. So if, if you really want to get a low, full lowdown on it, we're not going to rehash all of it here because it, that'd be silly because that's that's sacrilegious. <laughs> um, cruise on over to, uh, was it, oh shit, what's the site for Night Attack? Go go look at Night Attack. Go watch this week's Night Attack. I'm sure they, they covered the shit out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. Uh, the rule I said earlier about the awesome show not being eligible, tell me what you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, man, there's, there's so many things. It's... It's been kind of crazy. So, uh, so there you go. Check that out. Um, fuck, man, that was such, <laughs> that was such, a, such an amazing time. So, it was so much fun. Um, 
Yeah. So last week we had some feedback from our listener, Kim, mm -hmm. uh, telling us that we should watch the Knights, Knights of Bad Astem. Did you get a chance to check that out? I started it. <laughs> You've probably seen the best parts, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the whole thing the other day. Uh -huh. Oh, man. It, oh, man. It, it the, the beginning, at least, really had a feel of uh, Kung Fury. It kind of had that feel to it. Like, like this is something that, that people did because they felt it needed to be done, not because they were expecting any kind of accolades or recognition from it. What, <laughs> what I thought was great about it, like, from the get-go, was, first of all, it's got Peter Dinklage in it. Hmm before he won his Emmy. So he was still up up for the, you know, doing little low budget things here and there. Not and, that he's uh, not now. I mean, we don't know. Well, he, he could be working on three indie projects right now and not getting to pay the dime for it. We don't know. Sure. And IMDb just ignores them, apparently. Well, <laughs> yeah, who knows? They're independent. I don't know. But Amazon it, don't care about independency. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was just so great to see him in this just silly ass role of a of a uh, drunk drugged out larper it was oh god it was so great the the beginning was was such a um, we'll call it a low budget homage to nerds uh larpers in particular but yeah. there was a lot of dnd no 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 ken have you ever larped uh a little bit a little bit. Uh, not a lot. Not a lot. Um, really, the only the only LARPing that I've really done would be Vampire the Masquerade. Oh, really? Yeah. And that really wasn't even... I, I guess that was LARPing. That was... To a, to a point. It was, really it was like, not... Like, LARP LARPers wouldn't keep car call that LARPing. Right. Oh, there's actually... If, if you watch the whole thing, there's like two references to Vampire the Masquerade. And how the the main LARPing group, like, they don't like <laughs> the, the vampire LARPers. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Yeah, I've, I've done a, a fair bit of LARPing in my time, and um, I actually enjoy it. I thought I think it's pretty fun, but that's just me. I'm, I'm really into geeky shit like that, so. Right, absolutely. Uh, and, that, and this movie is, is really an homage to, to that, that activity. So, and yeah, the, the I... I had to finish it. I started it tonight. I actually forgot all about it, to be honest with you, with everything going on this week, um, as far as going to work and, and uh, starting a new job and everything else. Forgot about it until you tweeted it about it, and then I was like, oh, shit, I got to go watch that. I tried to watch it and didn't quite make make it. So, Yeah, it, it, it turns into kind of a uh, like a horror movie uh, thing, and it kind of, I don't know. I like the beginning of it the best because it was it was more um, it was more comedic. I mean, there's definitely funny parts throughout, but it it sticks more to the humor in the beginning, and I really like that because it was you know I could relate to it, you know, being a nerd geek, whatever, and um, I don't know, it's 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 a fun movie, but it's a goofy ass two hour. Well, it's all, it's only about an hour and a half, uh, it's, but it's goofy as hell, and you got to be in the right mindset to watch it. Nice. Yeah, don't it's, don't go looking for an Oscar winner. <laughs> it's, it's not an hour and twenty four minutes, but yeah. Um. Yeah, good times. This show is uh, going so amazing right now. Now I've got the air conditioners randomly kicking on. <laughs> ah, I can't wait to get the hell out of this hotel. Yeah, so, Trickster, um, it's, it's called Knights of Bad Astem, and it's on Netflix. Yep. I might actually have a link for you right right quick. Yeah. Uh, don't, or, don't, or, or don't not. take the link that I put in the notes because that's the uh, Amazon link for the... Oh, well, that's that's silly. Hey, uh, so so you, uh, I heard you got some wood this week, man. You got wood? Uh, yeah, I got some wood tonight, actually. <laughs> uh, oh wait, what are we talking about again? Uh, wood. Oh, firewood, firewood, firewood. Yeah, yeah. yeah for your, for the fire pit in the backyard. <laughs> Mister, I live in Arizona, and I'm going to order a bunch of firewood. Um, it's actually New Mexico, but uh, you know, whatever. it's all the same, dude. It's all the same. <laughs> like, can can you tell me any distinguishing features between Arizona and New Mexico? Um, yeah, New Mexico doesn't have the the Roadrunner cactuses. You know the uh, 
the uh, what is it? The, it's the Sonoran National Forest that only the only place that has the the cactuses with the big arms. Okay. You know, like watching the Roadrunner cartoon yeah. and you see the stereotypical cactus. There's only one place on Earth that has that, and it's a like a belt. It's like a national forest that goes into Mexico and Arizona, and that's it. That's the only place on Earth that has that shit. Hmm. But when you think cactus, that's what you think of, probably because of the Roadrunner cartoon. But anyway, wow. so there's one difference. Wow. <laughs> um, also, let's see. Um, New Mexico is the armpit of the asshole of Earth. Oh, the armpit of the asshole. Yes. That's like a double. Just think around. Maybe it's the asshole of the armpit. Yeah. One could, of those. Could be the, just be the chud. <laughs> it could be that. <laughs> I don't know. There, there, there is some good things in New Mexico. It's just few and far between. Like, like your girlfriend and your kids. Other than that, no. <laughs> yeah, those are yes, those are definite highlights. <laughs> you um, heard it here first, folks. If you ever go to New, New Mexico, stop by and see Kent's girlfriend and his kids. <laughs> <laughs> the state highlight right there. Yeah, maybe I'll buy you a beer or something. Best, high, best thing in the state. So, uh, so you got you got firewood. Yes. So I've got a fire pit in the backyard, and yeah. we really enjoy using it. And the thing that sucks is that if if you go to the any of the stores around here, like Lowe's has it, and um, um, you know I don't know a few random stores will have bundles of firewood. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is something ridiculous, like eight bucks for like a little bundle of sticks. Mm-hmm. I say sticks, but it's it's actual cut wood. Um, but there's a a truck that's like it, it's parked like two or three blocks away from me. Mm-hmm. See it all the time. There's never anybody there, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit, I wish somebody was there. Well, it turns out there's a sign on it with a phone number. You're supposed to call the phone number, and he'll <laughs> he'll get back to you or whatever. So anyway, so, so so you've I, been driving I, by I, this truck wishing somebody was in there for how long? <laughs> yeah, um, so moving on. Uh, so I, I asked Year her, three, I asked, still no one at the truck. <laughs> Steph, when, when I was at work today, I, I texted Stephanie and asked her if she would swing by that truck and, you know, get the phone number off of it or whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, so anyway, she sent me the number and I called him. And uh, it's $120 for an entire truckload of wood. Okay. That sounds uh, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Like, fucking amazing. It's, it's pre-cut. It's treated. It is perfect for the fire pit. And so I called him up and I was like, I was like, hey, man, uh, can you deliver tonight? Like 37 o'clock. And he, you know, it's this old man. He's like, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 630 tonight. Yeah. What's your address? And uh, so 630 comes along. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Damn, he's not here. So seven o'clock comes around because I, was, I said, you know, 630 or seven. And he, he told me that he'd, he'll, he'll try to be, be there at 630. Well, seven o'clock comes around because I'm thinking, okay, I'll wait till seven. Mm-hmm. Still nothing. I'm like, what the fuck? Ten minutes later, still nothing. I'm like, this motherfucker. So I, <laughs> I call him up, and he says, he's like, oh yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, so sorry. Uh, I, I was waiting for a very important phone call from Italy. Very important phone call. I was like, oh. Okay. He's like, uh. But I just got the phone call done, and I'm coming to your house now. Is it still okay? <laughs> I was like, yes, please, bring my firewood. Um, yeah, so anyway, he gets to the house, and the nicest man, he's an, he's an older gentleman. He's from Rome, Italy. And it turns out the phone call that he was waiting for, um, his brother was in an accident or something like that. Oh, so shit. he, he was, oh, waiting, was waiting to hear what, what was going on with his his brother, and, and, you're, so, and you're bothering him for some damn firewood, right? I know, my like, bad. Like, right? What a douche! Uh, but no, but he was a super nice guy. It's only 120 bucks for an entire. I'm talking a full, like, about to fall over the sides of the truck, full truckload. So if you live in Alamogordo, like, so, hit this but, dude up. But man. where does he get the wood? Probably from the mountain, because I mean, we're you could just drive up the mountain, and there's there's, like, there's somebody up in the mountain, like with the, with the five acres of land going. Where the hell's all my wood going? Right. <laughs> I used to have a bunch of trees. Now I got stumps. <laughs> He's up there in his deer stand like this. This is bullshit. <laughs> no, but his his name's Dino. Yeah. And uh, well, well, there you go. Cool Seriously, guy. Dino. Like, yeah, hit up Dino. If if you are an Alamogordo local, hit me up and I will get you his phone number. I don't want to put it out there on the internet because trolls 
trolls awesome. be trolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, super awesome. And I've got enough wood to last probably, probably till next <laughs> next year. Like I've got a ton of wood. <laughs> this I have you so much wood right yeah. now. <laughs> I get I get wood for everybody. Come on by, <laughs> come on by, see my wood. <laughs> my wood's on fire. <laughs> Oh, All right, man. man. So uh, neither one of us did a TED Talk this week. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. But I did watch a YouTube video that I'd seen parts of um, a few different times. And I finally watched the whole thing. And it's it's great. It's about 12 minutes long. It's a study of rap and lyrics. And it's called Rapping Deconstructed, the best rhymes of all time. And I don't want to like get too much into it because it's, it's really – anything that I say about it is not going to cover – the uh the scope of this this little 12 minute video just watch it we'll put the, sh the link in the show notes it's really amazing if you are into rap music at all or ever have been yes go and check it out it's awesome yeah i, I watched this and uh, i've got two two observations real quick mm -hmm. um first absolutely 100 percent agree with what you just said like this is one of the most comprehensive short form explanations of rap music it was so entertaining and well and and informing. Like it was yep. so good. The second observation is it came from the most unlikely of sources. <laughs> it's this little white girl that is not just white, like she's like she's white. Like she is very white. She is incredibly articulate and like and listen to the nuances of this, like. It was yeah. almost distracting at first how white she was talking about <laughs> rap music. Um, but it was so well done. I was like, wow. I mean, you can tell she like really appreciates the music and it was it was refreshing to to watch it. I just I, I, I can't recommend it enough. I'm I'm with you hundred percent on that. Yeah. I and, and it's one of those things that uh that the presentation of it, I mean it's like I said, it's twelve minutes long, but the presentation of it, it's so it's it's very concise and it, but it it doesn't like skip over a lot of things and it gets really to the point and you can tell that a lot of time and effort was put into it and for an, for an amateur project of course I'm assuming it's an amateur project it's really awesome if this is like a, a high school thesis or, or a, a college thesis something like that some part of that or whatever I'd still be impressed it's really done pretty well yeah absolutely so I think it was, it was Vox right didn't Vox distribute that uh yes yes I believe so. Yeah, we'll put the uh, the YouTube links in the show notes. Yeah, and I, I put it in chat realm as well. There you go. Yeah, super super good. Twelve minutes, well spent. Yeah. All right, man. Um, there's only a couple things we have left to talk about. First of all, the my 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 surprise project. No one got it right. Of all the guesses I've seen on the Twitter so far, with the uh, with the hashtag hashtag RMP secret. Yep. Haven't seen a single correct answer yet. So, yeah, I, I actually checked it earlier, and I was like, damn, nobody's got it. Nope, no, not, I, not a I single was, person has got it. I was going to put a guess on there. Yeah. And, uh, I was like, ah, ah I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to. There you go. Uh, Trickster just went ahead and put a, put a, another link in there with the, an actual preview on there. So, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. So, yeah, RMP secret. Hashtag RMP secret. If you think you know... Who it is that uh, that I've got a, a secret project working on? Someone prolific in uh, Diamond Club or Diamond Group? Whichever. Diamond Group. Diamond Group. Diamond Group. Yep. Diamond group. I'm, look, I'm, I'm gonna be an iconoclast on this one. All right. Like <laughs> I'm sticking with the old <laughs> Diamond Pants. Yeah. Part of the Diamond Pants diamond family. Pants. Um. So there you go. And that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be awesome. We are we are gonna be. Uh, I can't wait to get more details on that one. I can't wait to to pass out more details and let and let something know about that one. So that that's that's in the works and that's gonna be awesome. Other than that, man, um, if you're into geeky shit, go to geek n the letter n like n like like n uh, geek n gamer dot com or gamer gear. Damn it, I screwed it up again. Like you should do this. Damn it, really. Amos. I, I, I'm not good at this. Stop fucking it up. <laughs> geek n gamer gear dot com. That's geek the letter n gamergear.com if you use ritual misery at checkout you will get 10 percent off your entire order they've there got the go. coolest shit in there man toys and games and clothing ritual items controllers all and all kinds of random shit yep 
Yeah. It's awesome. Trickster, man. He's like, he's, he's becoming our own producer. I love this shit. Yes. It's Thank amazing. You. So awesome. So awesome. So yeah, there you go. Just click on the link right there. Use Ritual Misery as your code on checkout and you get 10% off your entire first order. And yep. uh, it helps us out. It helps you out. And it just makes the whole world a geekier place. And we're all fuck, fucking for that. Oh, yeah. So. Definitely geek gear, not not hipster gear. This is geek gear. Yeah. This is geeky shit. This is, this is like hardcore geeks finding gear and acquiring <laughs> it and selling it and making sure that, that the best geek gear is available, not the hipster. <laughs> like, oh, I got fucking NES glasses or some shit. No, like real <laughs> shit. Like this yeah. is this isn't a fucking statue of Mario walking through the the, the mall with fucking plaid pants and a button up fucking <laughs> you know pinstripe shirt and shit with a with a three piece suit on on Luigi holding hands going through the mall or some shit like that. This is like real stuff. Have you been following me around, dude? Like, hey, <laughs> what the fuck? I have my sources. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get rid of them plaid pants, dude. Get rid of the right, plaid pants. Right. Uh, so, you know. and the other thing is, if you are a uh, diamond clubber or a diamond grouper, and mm. you have a show on diamondclub.tv, and you would like to get together with other people that have shows on diamondclub.tv, just get with us. Uh, we, we form a little group on that. So just email us podcast at ritualmisery.com and put DCBT, the letters DCBT, as Diamond Club B team. Go ahead and put that in there. And uh, we'll get with you, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll get you put in our Slack and start talking about all kinds of cool shit. How to make, even if how to make forget, all the shows better. Even if you forget what's supposed to go in the subject line, we'll probably see it anyway. Yep, podcast okay. at ritualmisery dot com, and we'll we'll take it from there. Yep, so, yep. Hey man, cool, man. Uh, where where, uh, uh, where can people find more about you, dude? Man, the best place is on Twitter at rm underscore del noche. Dude, you never know what's going to show up on my Twitter. Check it out. Um, I I was going back and forth with a troll this evening. Um, Schwood got trolled, and I jumped in, and then it just became a yeah, it kind of became a thing. Um, so, so you so never know. Check it out at rim underscore Del The Man Noche. with Wood is the night for Schwood. Ooh, title maybe. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah. Also, if you're a beer guy like me. Uh, you can check out ratebeer.com. Look up username Del Noche. You can see all my reviews. I'm over 500 now. I'm halfway to beer god status. Doubt it. Um, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. but no, check it out. When are you going to go back and review some of your earlier ones now that you've got more of a taste and, and more of a style of your of preference in, in beer? Oh, like re review them? Yeah. No, but see, that's that that kind of goes against my my modus operandi because I. When I rate a beer, like that is my snapshot of what I thought of it at the time. So if I re-review it, then it's it's I lose that snapshot. It's yeah, now my just, just new go, taste. Just bud. go in and append it. Like just take, oh, just, just, take a, just take a classic one. Like take number fourteen, re-review right, right. it, and just append your new review to the old one. Don't actually get rid of the old one. Just put you know updated. Right. right. That sounds great, but I haven't had all the beers yet. I need to have all the beers, and then I'll go back and do that. But you, you'll never have all the beers. You're just a lazy well, fuck that likes to drink beer. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm not holding it against you, but that, that's essentially what you're coming with here. I've got, a, I've got a fridge full of singles that I still need to rate. <laughs> so going back and re-rating, um, that's like that's like like treading let like treading water. That's like I'm not going anywhere. I got I got to. All the beers. <laughs> no, I think you're done. I think, <laughs> I think you're done. I don't um, know, man. Where, where are you at, though? Uh, at Ethan Kane on Twitter. That's the easiest way. It's pretty much the only way, really, because I don't really pay attention to my Facebook. So deal with it. Yeah, everything to each other anyway. So that's how that's how I have it set up. If I post something original on Facebook, it goes over to Twitter. And if I post something on Twitter, it goes back. It's fuck it, dude. I use Twitter like. Yeah, and I'm I'm on Instagram as well. But whenever I post something on Instagram, I post it to Twitter also. So I there's too much social media. I I just yeah. I can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> so, um, so where um, else? Uh, uh, at Ritual Misery to yep. follow the show. Yep, at Ritual Misery follow the show. You can submit ideas or a subreddit. It's ritualmisery.reddit.com. That's like a, it's almost like a, a theme now where just like we're in beta, that Reddit is is like an internal desert 
I'll have a dude, great idea. I'll go to post it, and I'll it'll, I'll fucking forget it before I get there. Guaranteed every yes. time. Dude, dude, that would be that would be the number one way to contribute. Please, if you if you're like, ah oh, man, Ritual Misery always shouts out all these things that I can go do or whatever. If you just if you got to choose one, do the Reddit, man. Like, add something to the Reddit. Add anything. Add a add a picture of dog shit. I don't care. Put something in the Reddit. Like, I want to see something in the Reddit. That's all of your assignment right now. Go to ritualmisery.reddit.com and put anything. I mean, the more ridiculous, the better. Please, go there and do that. If we get an actual video of a dog shitting, it's going to be amazing. (laughs) Like, that's that's just it. That's like the epitome right there. It's success. So. I want an original though. I want an original. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not some shit you stole, stole off YouTube or something like something like your dog. We want to see your dog taking a shit. I want to see your dog <laughs> taking a shit. In the house on, on on your significant other's birthday. There you go. That's what I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Um, you can call and leave, leave us a voicemail. Um, that's going to be five six seven six nine TRMPC. That's five six seven six nine eight seven six seven two. And uh, yeah, I just lost my little thingies. Um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> You've got wood, and I lost my thingy. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, another possibility for title. So there we go. Uh, of course, you can find all these in more ways to support the show and submit ideas at our website, ritualmisery.com dot com. Thank you so much to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use your music. Uh, for me, for Kent, and for you, this has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. See ya. Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>